smell the uh, your chat partner here. Um, um, thank you for making um, you know, this extra effort, um, braving traffic and breaking mundane uh, evening routines, choosing to dedicate a weekday night to arts and culture. This is quite an inspiring uh, place. Uh, some of you present here tonight will uh, write a book one day just because the seed has been planted tonight um, by a skillful and clever gardener who will fertilize the soil in just a few minutes. Um, do you guys know that this used to be a, a grand atrium of a bank? It's still a bank, right? But no longer a financial institution. It's a bank of uh, wisdom and knowledge, of uh, creativity and imagination. Right? Yeah. <laughs> In a um, few words about us, the curators of this event, we are an arts and culture nonprofit organization called Pchela, which in English translates as a B. <laughs> In case I don't pronounce it right, um, whose primary goal is creating a bridge between American and Bulgarian arts and culture for the benefit of diversifying and enriching both in an attempt to overcome the radical uniformity of the globalization. Uh, six months ago, our friends from Taluna, an Italian gypsy band, uh, constantly on the move, it's gypsies, you know, uh, had discovered this magical place for us. Um, they were invited to play their beautiful music here. Uh, in, it was a road trip by itself. It is a road trip just scouting the labyrinth of books around, discovering um, artifacts, pieces of um, art implanted in this sea of books, unique outbursts of creativity. And uh, in this train of thoughts, thinking of a road trip uh, through the mind of an artist, naturally came the idea of creating an event here to mix the vibe, of, the vibe of such a place in the imagination of a famous author who's Bet Bessel Risky. Where is he? Uh, he's there. <laughs> uh, recently Stop translated drinking. in English. Stop drinking. <laughs> you have job to. Um, uh, his story is a story of a road trip through the States glorified by, by his uh, vast knowledge of world culture and seen through the eyes of a professional photographer as well. A road trip in search of, a, of his lost identity driven by the loss of the love of his life. Zachary. <laughs> um, we have a special guest tonight, uh, the Bulgarian Consul General, uh, Marin Dimitrov, would like to say a few welcoming words. Thank you. It's great to see so many faces, Bulgarian and American. Thank you for coming, dear friends. Zachary Karabashliev is a famous Bulgarian author, and for me, he exemplifies the true modern man who's a product of the globalization. He cr comes from an ancient country such as Bulgaria to a modern country such as America, and he manages to really build that bridge between the two cultures and to show that no matter where you were born, no matter where you've grown up, you can make it with talent and with persistence. And I congratulate him for spreading Bulgarian culture on the US West Coast. He's one of the true cultural ambassadors of Bulgaria here. And I truly want every one of you to read his book, 18% uh, Grey. If you can in Bulgarian, the ones of you who are not perfect and you don't speak Bulgarian, Please buy the English version, it's excellent as well. So enjoy yourself tonight, and I hope to see you at more such events. Thank you for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we present to you our gardener tonight. There he is. In his final US appearance, uh, appearance in public, uh, before he hits the road again on a long journey back to his roots in an attempt to join efforts with the forces of good, right? Yeah. <laughs> in what seems to be turning into a guerrilla warfare in Bulgaria for the salvage and revival of an ancient culture. 
Mr. Zach Karabashlev, and please say it in the same way. Thank you all for coming. Hey, what's with the mic here? <laughs> Oops. Thank you so much, guys, for, uh, for coming. Beautiful night. Great city of Los Angeles. I'll try to be creative with this mic here. All right. Um, Everybody's doing okay over there? All right. Uh, seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you all. Thank you really for, um, for coming. It's uh, Tuesday night. Probably there's sports on TV and some favorite shows. And uh, I appreciate all of you being here. Um, Mr. Dimitrov, thank you, thank you so much. And Ralica as well. Uh, General Consul of Bulgaria, that's, that's big. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I I got nothing, basically. <laughs> I, there's nothing. I don't know what to say. Um, <clears throat> I'm anxiously, really, really uh, looking forward to a, a, a nice, a just cool, brave conversation. Q&A, this is what it's all about. It's all about dialogue. Um, I, even when writing for theater, for some reason, I never liked the idea of writing monologues, which uh, which doesn't appeal so much to actors. You know, actors like to have their moment. I'm still the, waiting for mine. For the monologue, yeah, I, I promise. Yeah, Maria's got a promise role. I'm 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 working on it. Nine years I swear, ago. I'm I'm working on it. So thank you very much for coming. Uh, great friend of mine, Joshua, will read a few pages of of the book. Uh, the reason he's reading it because my, <clears throat> because, I, I mean, I love his, his, his acting, I love his playing, he's a wonderful friend of mine and a great actor, um, and he does not have an accent. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so no accent, um, but... Um, uh, there's another reason he he when I heard his voice for the first time he was uh, he was doing a play of mine <clears throat> and I go I want this dude to be the the the, the voice of my audiobook when it when if it comes out dude you, you really nailed it I don't know we have not rehearsed tonight I'm not sure how you're gonna do it his voice is very loud by the way <laughs> extremely loud so I'm not sure what's going on. But I hope, I hope, uh, uh, I hope everybody enjoys it the way I did uh, the last time uh, we were together. And there's someone else special I really want to introduce tonight. Um, another writer, her name is Krasi Zrukova, and she's Bulgarian. And I just uh, happened to, to, to find out about her. And her book is called Samudiva in Bulgarian, and it will come out in, in, in English with Harper Collins. Huge! Guys, you have to realize this is huge. Mm -hmm. So, so um, her book called Wild Alone, or Samudiva, will come out next year in, um, in Harper Collins. And uh, it's on point. Um, I would love if you like read like a page from your book and just, I want to introduce you to the, this wonderful Bulgarian community. Before we continue, Chela and Mahalata, you guys are wonderful. What you're doing is...